Hello and welcome everybody, this is your commentator Modes welcoming you back here for another battle. And this is going to be the semi-finals of the PU tournament. And let me just start off by saying that this battle was recorded live, but then the audio decided not to record, so I have to speed it up and do a post-narration. Anyways, you see my team, you see his team, threats on both sides. We we both have a Vile Plume on Inferno and a Rotom Freeze. The only difference is I have Abra, Marowak, and Lickitung, and he has Vallabi, Clang Clang, and a Wigglytuff. So I start off with my Scarf Rotom Freeze. He starts off with a with his Monferno, and at first when I when he let off of that, I thought it was which is why you see me check it that it was Scarfed, but then I realized that since he had a Rotom Freeze, it couldn't be Scarfed. So he decides to fake me out because I'm gonna try to Volt Switch out. Thinking he's gonna switch out into maybe his Clang to take the Volt Switch or his Vile Plume. As you see, it, it is live here, so I have to wait for him to make a move. Well, it was live. Or supposed to be, like I mentioned. So yeah. While while we're waiting for him to make a move, as it as like I said, it was supposed to be live, um just wanted to say. This has been a great tournament so far, and depending on the outcome of this matchup, I want to do more of these in the future. I also want to do more PU matchups, matches in the future, since it is my favorite tier. Anyways, we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. Even sped up, it takes forever. And there we go. He has to finally go for a mock punch as I, as I go for the Volt Switch. And look at that damage from my Volt Switch. If I knew he was just gonna mock punch and not switch out, I probably could have gone. If I predicted that, I could have, like I said, I, was gonna, I could have probably gone for a T bolt and killed him. But then I decided to go into my Marowak. I was gonna decide to go into Abra, but I didn't. I didn't think it was a good idea, so I go into Marowak. And don't mind that I have Boomerang and Earthquake, because at the time I forgot that I was I that um first that Boomerang was a Ground type move, and that I forgot to put Stone Edge. But it doesn't end up mattering because he goes into his Vile Plume to take the double. And look at that! It did. 51% to most likely a physically defensive vile plume. Holy crap! And now right here I'm deciding whether what's gonna take a Giga Drain. Abra, my own Marowak, or my specially defensive Lickitung to go into. I love this thing. It, it takes crap for, from special hits. Now I'm gonna have to go to the, go for the knockoff here. The knockoff is this thing's um black sludge, doesn't have recovery. So yeah. Let's see what happens. Like I said, I'm going for the knockoff. I want you to knock off something. As it's going to be this Rotom Freeze's Scar. So now if it comes down to my Rotom Freeze, which is his Rotom Freeze, I'll be able to outspeed him through the Scar. Now I can stay in knowing that I can take any special hit from this thing. I'm just going to get a Toxic on something. Unless he wants to go back out into his Vile Plume or, or go into his Clang. And it's going to be the Bullaby that comes in. So th that's nice, a nice thing to get toxic I'm gonna go to knockoff to get this thing's Eviolite knocked off, but he didn't turn it to have knockoff. And knocks off my Eviolite. So I predicted him to have to have the uh, foul play uh, rather than the knockoff. That's okay. Now we both have no Eviolite. And now I'm checking Boomerang, and here's where I see that Boomerang is actually a ground type move. I remember that now. This is why I wish I had Stone Edge. But okay, I still go and do it. Anyways, he goes for the toxic. Which isn't like, ugh, that's okay. So I'm gonna, I wanna go for the double edge to get good damage on something since I have rock head for my ability. And spectators, since we're on the infinite server, yeah. And he starts to knock off my thick cloth. I'm like, crap! I'm not gonna do as much damage right now. Even though I do have the belly jump, and I was wanting to get it off somehow in this battle, but I couldn't. Anyways, I go back to my Lickitung, tongue. This is just gonna probably knock off as his only move, the attacking move. So I go into my Lickitung tongue, so he can't knock off anything else. That goes in Monferno. Now here is the pit, one of the pit most pivotal plays in the matchup. I'm gonna go into Abra, predicting a mock punch, or to take out my Lickitung. tongue, and I'm gonna go into Abra and try to fire off. A side shot, because nothing on his team, except for the Clang, wants to take a side shot from a Specs Abra. But he goes for a Flare Blitz, and it takes out my Abra. So one of my best physical attack, special attackers in this team is gone. 
So that's one of my biggest threats down. Now I go for a Mod Punch when I take out that Mod Punch, but it goes into his Wiggly Tough. Now this is also a pivotal moment in this matchup as well. Watch this. I go for a Flare Blitz and it lives on 2% health. If it died to that Flare Blitz, Stealth Rocks wouldn't have been up on my side of the field. And I would have played this match so differently because at this point I wouldn't... I could have swapped out my... My Monferno, I would never re-swapped into. Like I said, I could have saved them for later, but... I couldn't because then a Life life Orb recoil and, and I would have taken the, the Rocks damage. And yeah, so... There goes my Monferno because of the... Because of the... Because of the... Because of, because of the Rocks being there. Now I go into my Rotom Freeze, which I, which I can't switch out because of the, because of the Rocks. So I just want to get this Vileplume off the field. I'm going to go for the Blizzard. Hopefully I don't miss. Come on, don't miss. And I don't miss. This is awesome, but now I am choice scarfed into a blizzard as he can go safely into his clang. Now all I gotta do is hope for the freeze. But I missed the first one as he gets starting to go for the shift gear. I go for another one and no freeze. I go for another one and again no freeze. And then she just goes for the gear grind and takes me out. I'm gonna go into my vile plum. I could've actually I could have gone right into Marowak, but I, I wouldn't have outsped. And you know this thing, since, since I'm physically defensive, I can start going for Drain Punches, since I am a weird set on my Vile Plume. I'm a, I'm a physically defensive Vile Plume with um, Substitute, Aromatherapy, Petal Blizzard, and Drain Punch. Yeah, a weird set, but it works. So, I mean, I still go for the Drain Punch, since it is super effective on this Clang. And I decide to go for the rest, and I'm like... Uh, is the rest sleep talk set with shift gear and gear grind. So at this point, my mindset is do I want to keep going for drain punches or do I want to predict and go into my Marowak to go for the boomerang? So I'm still going to go for drain punch to get him a little bit lower before I go into Marowak. But at this point, still, the match is, looks very grim for me. I still have a chance if I can somehow. Get my vile plume at high health. Leave it at high health and be able to be able to um, have him miss a blizzard. I can go for drain punches on that um, rotom freeze. I'm still gonna, I'm still just going for drain punches on this clang just to get some damage on before I, before I, before as you're gonna see I'm gonna go out into my metal egg before I decide to go out into it. As he's getting unlucky with his with his sleep talks. He's getting all the shift gears and all the rests. And he misses that gear grind as I go for another drain punch. As I probably could have gone for an aromatherapy. I'm thinking about it now, I should probably should have gone for the aromatherapy to get the poison off my Marowak. But I just wanted to get damage on this on this um, clang, so now I decided to go into my Marowak. So now I'm just gonna go for a Bone Marine to see how much damage it does. As he gets the rest off another Sleep Talk, which is unfortunate for him, so it does good damage with that Bone Marine. Now, if only he doesn't get the Shift Gear and hit. Oh, he misses the Gear Grind, and I kill him off with the, the, the another Bone Marine, but I died of the poison. So now, it looks like I'm gonna be out of this battle out in this battle because I'm gonna go for a drain punch hoping he misses a blizzard and I can somehow do damage and nope nope blizzard just wrecks my freaking file plume and I go into my lick of time it's gonna be GG right here guys so I'm out of the PU tournament I thank you all for watching hope to do more of this in the future I'll see you next time peace good night everybody